I will say this is where the philosophy comes in from grad school, reading way too many papers. Uh, there, one of my favorite computer scientists is Mark Weiser. He passed away before I ever got to meet him. And he would talk about how technology should really just fade into the background of our awareness, right? It should be ready at hand, like a carpenter's trusty hammer, right? So when a carpenter is hammering a nail, he's not thinking about where to put the nail, where to put his hand, what the handle feels like. He's just trying to hammer a nail. He's trying to figure out where to put it. And it's invisible in use. And to me, that was this like wonderful aha moment that I've been trying to work towards uh, for most of my career. And this idea of making technology and inv invisible in use actually came out of a frustration with seeing the first wave of virtual reality technologies getting really, really popular. Uh, and it was a frustration with seeing people ignore each other, seeing people immerse themselves in a world that's different from the physical meat space they were in today. And back in that day at Xerox Park, right, they talked a lot about how you would incorporate pads, tabs, and boards as examples of computing that's built into existing familiar objects. I think robotics could go in this direction too, just like another design direction that we can, and are, are currently a minority of folks now are exploring, and it'd be great to see even more of that. Mm -hmm.